You know, this is the fight. This is the fight I've been waiting for. This is the one! Do you want to know why? Because it's by far the most annoying. It has a damage output limit per head, so I won't be able to kill it with the ladle, and there's a thousand little itty bitty spiders just darting around trying to kill me. Yeah, that's great. And that missed me by about an inch. Man, am I grateful for that. Oh good, you're already awake and alive and well again, and I've wasted all my stamina. That's gonna end up biting me in the ass, literally, in the form of a little spider. It's kinda of a little bit too hard to have to manage all of these spiders in my peripheral vision, as well as the big band doing whatever the hell it chooses to do on any given day. I'm gonna get hit by this, aren't I? Oh, what? Oh, I must have get past it. I think I did. I'm proud of myself. Um, yeah, I think that pride's about to die down in a moment. This is so fun because I can't outrun them all, which is why I died. <laughs> Isn't that great? Well, let's have a good old college try number two, shall we? Hey, my soul's away at the... It's a shame that your acid doesn't actually tear through your little children's skin and kills them immediately. That way I'd be left with, oh, I don't know, a boss that's fun and fair instead of annoying, obnoxious, stupid, and unnecessarily populated with little bitty shitheads that are there for no other reason than to catch you off guard, make you evade multiple things at the same time for no other reason than fuck you, and basically just to make you want to kill yourself every single second you're fighting this boss. At least she's crushing half of them currently. At least I'm about to die by that because I rolled at the completely... This, this is this. This is so fun. They are by far the most obnoxious and unnecessary thing in the entire game. I mean, look, they won't stop fucking following me. It's not even as if you get rewarded for evading them. If you keep your distance from them as they're chasing you, they just continue to chase you forever until they fucking catch you. It's about as fair as Russian roulette with a fully loaded gun. With this ladle, it would take just as much effort to kill all of these spiders individually as it would to kill the singular boss. Like, it really would. Oh, piss off. Oh, please. Go- no <laughs> Why do you slow me down when you move? That's another obnoxious part of you. If I stand near you while you're moving, oh no! I'm now the speed of a dying slug. Awesome! I missed a couch potato because you're wriggling a bit. Can I ask why she just did the hokey cokey with her legs? I want to know at what point that during playtesting they thought, yeah, you know what? This is good. Feels about right! Seven controllers have been broken. That's the right implementation of difficulty we're looking for! I don't, I just hate this boss. Oh my... You can't! You just can't! Right, here's how this is going to work. I'm going to try this one more time without summoning in any help. And I'm going to fail, I know it, but it's just for the simple sake of drilling it in that I actually gave it a good effort. And when I die, Ash and Night Boyd is going to come in. And I'm still going to fail. Do you want to know why? Because no amount of help makes this any more possible when you're using a ladle. But, uh, me, as an active alive participant, in the challenge of trying to kill you with said obstacle being your children, I'm not really enjoying the momentous occasion of this family reunion. You eight-legged, two-headed, armoured-plated fuck. Oh, I'm probably gonna die here, aren't I? Oh, wait, nope, made it out alive. Wonderful. Let me just, let me just go ahead. But, but none of them are near your arse head, so I'm gonna go hit your arse head. Well, not for the fact that it takes ten freaking seconds to actually kill one of them, and they typically all pile on me whenever I stand still, I'd actually take the time to kill them. But yeah, this isn't worth it, and it isn't possible, as clearly seen. That's it, I'm dead. No, I'm not even moving. Just fucking kill me. I'm gonna go summon Ash and Night Boyd. I'm done with this horse shit. And by the way, the moment I give up and want them to kill me, they don't. Didn't even move. Didn't even try. Dear Boyd, be a darling, would you? Help me. That's it, actually. That's the end of the statement. Help me. Oh, I thought I was doing that damage for a moment, then I realised Boyd's on the other side having his fun with the other head. We are spit-roasting a spider at the moment. Or at least we were until you blew the moment. Oh, more spiders have spawned. That's the best part about this fight. Spiders just randomly join the fray, and he's he's dead, he's, he's, he's done, he's, yeah, great, and now more spiders have spawned. <laughs> uh, that's just what I needed. Oh, oh, oh god, oh please, no, 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 Oof. you almost just tag-teamed the shit out of me with that laser. That would have been great, wouldn't it? That would have been exactly what you wanted. Get out of my life, can I time this right? And yes, I can. Please, no, 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 no. Boyd, be a darling, and take advantage of the opportunity that was presented to you as she went after me and not you. Please, do some damage to her. She's going after me consistently. D that's... that's fucking great. That's great! One pixel of my knee was clipped by a pincer. All of your health! 
Ah, oh, it's my fault. Not the games. Great though. Love wasting my time. The idea of adding a shit ton of normal mob enemy NPCs into a boss fight for the simple sake of upping the difficulty. You want a boss to be hard? Said it before in the last one. Make the boss hard, not the things around it. It's a simple little bit of design philosophy that goes a long way to not piss the player off. I love the fact how Boyd is nearly dead already. I say nearly dead already, he's, he's, he's still kind of fine. But he's being absolutely destroyed by these spiders. I love it. It's just, it's, oh, that, that hit me. That hit me, and that would have possibly... No, I'm going to die by spiders. I'm going to die by spiders. I hate everything about this. I hate that attack, because it fucking... Just... Can you do me the biggest goddamn favour and drop dead? I am killing you with a spell that I got from slaughtering your mother. Are you pissed about that? Oh, a three for one, motherfucker, full house. Boyd, you, you are hitting her armour. Can you please hit her head? God bless you, you bloody idiot. Please, for the love of God, just drop dead. Uh-oh, what are you doing? No, 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 get away from that. That will most likely end you. Keep on go- Oh, what the- Oh, one of your heads fell off. I'm so sorry about that. You'd think that would do, like, a whole lump sum of damage as opposed to it just being a thing that staggers her a little bit. You really would! I love the fact that I can still lock onto the head you don't have, and I also love the fact that you just keep on spinning round and round. What the fuck is this? Oh no, what the- Oh my, how did I survive that? Oh look, more spiders. Again, it boggles my mind you'd think this would be a good idea to do, but you do it regardless. I, I love you. I love you so much. You keep missing, Boyd. I really need you to land this. I really need her to stop spinning round. I really do. Fuck it. There you go. No, 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 no. I hate that. I, I can't. I. <laughs> she did one attack in about ten minutes. One attack that was anywhere near me. One. And I died. <laughs> Is that another goddamn summon sign I'm seeing? Hello, Serbitar. Um, yeah, I'll definitely be summoning you. I don't give two shits. Are you serious? I'm currently uploading, so the fact anybody is even connected to my world at all is preposterous. Never mind the fact that I currently have 50,000 spiders bearing down on my already summoned ally. And I do love the fact that despite we have two people here, we've done an incredibly low amount of damage. I would get closer to do something, but every time I do, she keeps doing the goddamn spit acid rampant leg attack. So, you know, having a spider seizure. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. We are ending this. Right here and right goddamn now. And besides, this fight with a ladle is legitimately impossible. Because if I were to successfully survive long enough for... Oh, fuck my goddamn life. Good thing Serbitar just stood there like a man and took the damage because, you know, that one summon. <laughs> Instead of it being the thing that ended the cruelest challenge, it was just another fatality, casualty, and failure in the middle of it. Great. I'm surrounded by spiders again. <laughs> oh, great. You know, it's just... Why... Just fucking kill me. Just fucking kill me. All right. Here we go again, making the sorcery round, so I can kill all of you, hopefully in about one hit, because you're all bunched up like the hemorrhoids that you are, you metaphorical bastards. Actually, you're not metaphorical bastards at all. I seriously doubt spiders marry after they mate, so actually, yes, you are indeed all bastards. <sighs> okay, are you going to- yep, yeah, you're going to spit cobwebs at me. God forbid that ever actually hit- I <sighs> hate that every time my fucking butt clenches tighter than a goddamn clamfish. I don't know why I keep saying that, but I do. Fuck it, I'm cheaping you down with sorcery. Down you to a puss spewing hell, you goddamnable whore! That scared the shit out of me. I thought that was gonna get me, hit me, one hit, knock me out, and then I'd be done back at square one. Really? Really, really, really don't want that with all of my heart, soul, essence, and being? Really don't. Boyd hit her. Boy, oh god, again, I thought he was gonna reach out and kill me. <laughs> reach out and touch that, you ain't lugged, fuck. Ow! That's what I get for saying lugged instead of legged. I can brain. Thanks, Boyd. Thanks, life. Thanks, world. I don't feel like I benefited at all from doing that. I feel like I lost a part of myself again. That fight was by far the single most obnoxious top to bottom fight in the entire game. And there you have it, a little bit more progress has been made, despite the fact that the flame that corresponded to this fight was already lit because I already got it up to New Game Plus 10, so me beating it actually didn't light the flame at all. 
So yeah, I keep saying it at the end of every last one of these recordings, you've still got the Dark Lurker to look forward to, as do I. And of course, the wonderful, amazing, glorious, and fantastic Throne Guardian fight. Yay! <laughs> And that's the end of the video, thank you for watching! If you enjoyed this, then don't forget to leave a like to broadcast the fact that you'd like to see more from this specific series. And if you enjoyed it to the point where you'd actually want to see more from this series, or this channel in general, then don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future instalments. And should the sub boxes be failing you, as they do for most, then feel free to bookmark my video page and check back daily, as that's how often I provide content to you, or alternatively, you you could follow me on any respective social media service you should desire as I update them all regularly with my videos as this site isn't actually known to be good at doing its job. So as always, your viewership and YouTube support will always be infinitely appreciated, and assuming you do indeed want to see more from me and the content I provide, then I will see you in the next video.